It is a Connor Chet Let's Talk Business with Mr. Daniel Steinman and myself, Elsa Bitwinyani. We are in week 49. That means that we will be doing 50 in the next week. And that is, I should say, a milestone, Mr. Daniel Steinman. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable, hey? Mm, uh, but recordings. But we continue to educate and also to share information and uh, on that one uh, last week we spoke about retail we spoke about the festive season how retail you know comes the focus of everything around this time of the year so we continue this discussion and we are talking about how big is it like we want people to understand uh, you know the importance of retail during this time of the year it's very important mm. I mean LCB as you can see for yourself, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. As you approach December, the, the proactive companies, they start doing their marketing in the second half of November already. Mm. But as of this coming weekend, it's really going to bowl you over. Yeah. So Christmas time is retail time. Mm. And for anybody who doesn't realize the importance of retail for the economy, especially for the seasonal economy, just need to look at what's going on in the shopping mall. The Christmas marketing is jumping on top of your head mm. and there's nothing that you can do to yeah. avoid it. You you can't escape it. Mm. So th- that's an indication of how important this time of the year is for anybody who is in retail. But if you ask me how big is it, now you're moving on to a more formal economic question. And the reason why it is important to ask that question is because if you look at the the national accounts, uh, the economic statistics that is compiled, uh, let's say, both short term and long term by the statistics agency, Mm -hmm. you will not find retail segment in there. There is no such sector as retail and this is this is what makes it very tricky but also what makes it very interesting you will see later on in our discussion today i'm going to come back to the informal economy and in the meantime you and the listeners you can try and make up your mind the informal economy is it retail or is it not retail think about it it's it's a it's a it's a very teasing question it is it has been (laughs) occupying the minds of very big international economists Mm. for nearly 200 years. Why, where does it fit in? Because you have to remember, 200 years ago, most of the economy was informal. Yeah. The formal yeah. economy was very small and very localized. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> I'm not exaggerating when I'm saying that it's been, it's been keeping us busy for two centuries. So if we look at it nowadays and you ask how big it is, you are confronted by this reality that retail is hidden amongst many other economic activities. Okay. And let's make it practical again. Mm. If you go buy a car, that the cost of that car is captured under transport. If the car prices increase, the inflation in the car prices is captured under transport mm. as a subdivision of the bigger inflation figure. If you take your fancy new car that you're so proud of, that you got just before Christmas, mm. and you go fill it up, that fuel is captured under transport. But what is different between a liter of fuel that you buy at the service station and a liter of benzene or paraffin that you buy in the supermarket? Supermarket. So, Elsie, do you see what the problem is? I, I do see. It's a, it's a, I do. See. It's, it's tricky. A, it's a tricky problem, and it's it's all about categories. Yeah. But it's, it's it's where is it used for, and mm. who is selling it? Mm. Because you will never think of a service station as a retailer. And I'm not talking about the the 24-hour shop at the service station. Yeah. I'm talking about the fuel and the lubricants. Yes. You know, most people, they will say, ah, are you daft or what? It's obvious. It's it's transport. Mm. It's cars and trucks and yes. stuff that move. It's not so easy. <laughs> you know. So, how big is it? You can only work on estimates. Mm. And you will see that the estimates vary between 12 and 30 13% of GDP. That doesn't sound a lot, but it is also not insignificant because if you, it's comparable to mining and to fishing and to agriculture. Mm. So I almost want to say that if you take mining, fishing, agriculture and you put retail next to it, it is one of the top four. Okay, let's quickly go for a short break and then we will be back after this.